The topic of my presentation is the design of a rip current warning system. A rip current is a fast flowing body of water that travels away from the shore through the surf zone. That means that any swimmer entering the water may find themselves being swept out to sea and dangerously out of their depth, causing them to potentially panic, struggle and possibly drown. This slide shows a photo of Coffs Harbour. You can see the calm water, which may look inviting to swimmers. However, the calm water is a rip. So far in this presentation, hang on a second. Surf Life Saving states that two out of three people mistakenly think they can identify a rip. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me now present to you a possible solution. I considered the following for my design. The system must have reliable operation, a long system life, must be environmentally friendly to humans, animals and plants, and it must have a simple design, installation, repair and replacement. The basic components of the system are a flotation device or buoy, PV cells, a battery, a digital controller, a coiled elasticated hang on, a coiled control cable, an elasticated cable and an anchor or secure fixing. The flotation device or buoy floats on top of the water. The PV cells convert solar energy into electricity. The battery stores the electricity. The digital controller regulates the amount of power transmitted through the system. The control cable the control cable measures the water velocity and the electrical and the elasticated cable accommodates the change in water level, high and low. You can see on the slide the GPS or the status test. This allows people to remotely track where the system is and see whether it is working properly. The control philosophy of the system is based on the Ohm's law, that V equals I times R. V is the battery, I is the current, and R is the cable, the control cable, and its surroundings, which is water. The Ohm's cable is influenced by water velocity. The total resistance equals cable resistance. Further research is necessary to determine the control cable testing or the control cable best suited for the job. This includes length, diameter and the materials. You also need the controller software and the coding and even the spacing of systems, as reliability and accuracy may be improved if multiple systems were linked together. In summary, this presentation has discussed the problem of rip currents, the design considerations for my system, the basic components, and the control philosophy. I will end this presentation with a quote that I think is really relevant. Just because, it's, just because it's difficult, it does not mean we shouldn't try. Thank you. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. <laughs>